Hey everybody, this is The Last Living GameCube. Welcome back to more Okami. In the last episode, we obtained a lot of treasures and two stray beads. In this episode, we're going to be attending a party at Susano's. Or so-called party. <laughs> What's going on? That's literally the look at a Matarasu's face. Hey, what's everyone doing in front of Susano's place? You come out here this instant, Susano. You have some explaining to do. How could you have drunk the sacred sake meant for Konohana? Huh? Susano did what? You can come out, Susano. We're not mad at you. You must have had some reason to drink up the A purification sake. Uh oh. This is bad. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Orange's heads are bobbing up and down. I don't care if it's so special. I couldn't help myself. I just had to have a drink. Well, it wasn't any old sake, and this isn't any old festival. It's been exactly 100 years since Nagi and Shirinui's great victory. We've even been blessed by a glorious full moon. How could you have done such a despicable thing? Leave me alone. I don't care about Naki and his fleabag friend. I am Susano, the greatest warrior who ever lived. <laughs> there isn't a drop of a purification socket left? Susano was acting like a madman when he returned to the village. He drank all the sacred sake and then holed up in his ho house. All the sacred sake Kushi brewed is gone. Why do you have to go and do that? This is terrible. I mean, a purification sake is what saved the day in that legend. The timing couldn't be worse with the return of Orochi and all.
On the eve of the full moon, the eight-headed serpent shall appear, and the accursed arrow shall mark the home of the chosen maiden. It is exactly as the legend tells. If we don't offer the chosen maiden as a sacrifice, our entire village will be wiped off the face of the earth. She runs really weird. <laughs> Sorry, all this drama was just ruined by her running. Yeah. <laughs> the Thunder Brew. <laughs> he runs really funny. Out of breath already. Man. And Susano is just silent the whole time. Anyways, I'm going to save here really quick. Okay, now that I'm done with that... We are going to help Kushi. Well, go after her, rather. Kushi is, Kushi is based off of a character in mythology known as Kushi Nada, the eighth and final, eighth and youngest daughter of an old married couple who lost their other seven children, the other seven ch daughters to Orochi as sacrifices. Susano was also part of this story, being Amaterasu's brother. He was banished from the heavens for using. What the, using what the story beads are based off of in mythology to create a bunch of life. It was basically like an argument of who could create more life or not. This is my fifth favorite song in the game, by the way. And basically, Susano is banished from the heavens by his father, Izanagi, in mythology. And after being banished, he meets Kushinada, who he learns is going to be offered up as a sacrifice for the monster known as Yamata no Orochi. And sh and he gets he gets angered at that thought and goes to slay Orochi by getting him drunk and cutting off his head. Sake is the only answer. She will defeat the monster with her rice alcohol. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, this is a really good song. This song is called Kushi's Ride. If you want to look it up, feel free. Well, I've heard this song enough times to... get a little bit tired. Well, I got tired of this song pretty easily, but at first, I love this song. Well, the song we heard before this one is my fifth favorite song in the game. That doesn't get tiring. The tiring is... no matter how many times I do that. You know, going in here... Alright, and now we've arrived at the moon cave! Yeah, this place always looks so eerie at night. And look who it is. Huh. Oh, by the way, if you try to power slash Waka before approaching him, Kanji will say useless. I need Kamamaterasu. 
I take it you enjoyed your rendezvous with the sacrificial girlie? None of your business, you half-baked prophet. Heh. <laughs> Apparently Capcom is having trouble hiring bakers if they're really having that much trouble baking a profit. And there's a serpent crystal! And there goes Isun. There goes Isun's imitation of my father. Corporal repetition. Now, for some reason, the audio and visuals go out of sync here, but I liked it better in the Wii than on the others. Yeah, the Wii version of this game is pretty glitchy. Well, the moon cave is open. You've played your part, now leave the rest to me, Yamatrasu. Don't you mean you've played your part and you'll leave the rest to us? Cool moment. Ruined. Why are you... What's the meaning of this? Meaning? Does the saying, like a moth to a flame, ring any bells? I mean, you went on your own accord, no? Accord, no? Of course, only one other besides the victim is supposed to get in. I guess you really don't count, my little dancing friend. <laughs> Apparently, Isun really doesn't count. <sighs> yeah, they've been set up again. But were you not planning to enter the cave anyway, Mahashali? Whatever happened to leaving the rest to you? It is time for you to shine, Amaterasu. Now let me leave you with this little prophecy. That's like the fruitiest thing he's ever said. <laughs> Pardon, ma chérie, that wasn't a very good one. Au revoir. So we're stuck in here. And we were planning on taking care of that little G anyway. Cut it out, Ami. It's no use. Let's go check the place out. And look at this. The game failed to load the model that's supposed to cover Susana's butt. Yup. Okay, starting off here, we have this ominous purple smoke. Oh great, the stairway's been crumbled away! God or not, this is just too big a leap for you. Well, we either have to find a way around, or we can go our way. You know, it's so obvious. Leap before you think. You know, you can always just try to rejuvenate this thing. Well, and again, I like how it doesn't work. Whoa, that was quite a fall. We've gotten ourselves into this time. Well, now that we're down here, I hope you can sniff out Kushi's whereabouts, Furball. Hold it right there, Fluffy. What do you think you're doing? What business do you have at the Moon Cave? 
stronghold of our master, the great Orochi. Over there. Oh, you! Never thought I would see your face here. I could spot you a mile away. Figures for fight you jumps. Well, we don't have time to mess you around with fit players like you, but if you insist, let's hurry up so we can cut you to shreds. Well, you're just a dumb old wolf. Huh? Yeah, look at that foolish mug. You gotta be the dumbest looking wolf I've ever seen. And a stray so far into a place like this? You're not too bright, are you, champ? I don't think Fluffy here is much of a threat. Let's not waste any more time here. Yeah, I wonder if Fluffy's just hungry. And he gives you a radish! <laughs> yeah! Freaking... Here we have the Calcified Cavern. This is the prerequisite of the dungeon. And they give us a useless golden gate. Again. And we have the Thunder Brew! The... Ah, looks like there's enough here. I'm going through a golden gate, yeah. Uh, over here, I believe is Holy Von S. And I think there's a glitch in here where the part of the calcified cavern is not solidified. Uh, they're in multiple spots, so I don't remember which ones. Yeah, give me a second. There are multiple spots in the calcified cavern where the... Yeah, this is one of the spots where the... Spires were not solidified. Oh, pots in here, okay. Oh, that is regular water, okay. I don't think I've ever explored the Calcified Cavern that much. Anyways, yeah, I'm just going to fight this demon gate. And we have... A brand new enemy! And it also has its butt showing! Yeah. These are called Black Ints. Oh, oh, it's not completely timed to the music. Well, it's not perfectly timed, but it's still pretty close. Anyways, you get over here. Unlike the other Imps, these Black Imps do not freaking have mass in it. Oh yeah, three demon fangs. Yeah, you want to grind up on a lot of a lot of demon fangs in this dungeon because if you don't, let's just say you're going to be in deep do. He's in here, you get a mask. It's an imp's face covering. Yeah. Here's gonna be the main part part of the dungeon. You get an imp mask. You can just draw whatever stuff you want on here. It doesn't matter what you draw, and as long as it just draws some stuff on the imp mask. And you know what? I'm gonna draw something, but you're not gonna see it until the next video. Yep, we are going in as Ziggy Buggy Duke. Yep! Haha! <laughs> I've been waiting years to do this. Now you're talking, bet you like it this time. Oh yeah, I definitely like that. Well, took me quite a few tries, but right now I'm too impatient to get the whole job done. So yeah. Uh, we bring out the ultimate demented... We bring out the ultimate demented age bomb. <laughs> yeah, I, I swear, I just couldn't resist. I had to make a picture of Ziggy Buggy Duke. And yeah, that explosion's gonna happen every time I say Ziggy Buggy Doog. Okay, so... Going around here... Huh? What are you doing here? Looking for intruders? There was that silly looking wolf a while back, but nothing else out of the ordinary. HA! <laughs> we got this place covered. Get back to your post now. Sacrificial ceremony for the great Orochi is to be held today. Everyone's busy getting ready. There's no time to play around. What are you waiting for? Get in there and help! Okay, I'm on it. Sorry! I like how he doesn't hurt us. Yeah, there's a lot of snow outside. Kinda have to wonder... Oh my god, there's like so much snow outside right now, it's not even funny. Oh, and by the way, yeah, I lied. As you already saw. 
Well, not not about the snow, but about seeing that picture in the next episode. Okay, so I think right now I'm going to end this video off here. Well, actually not here, just at the save mirror. Okay, so next time on Okami, we are going to begin exploring the moon cave. And getting a few jokes in along here about Ziggy Buggy Doog. Okay, see you guys then.